Pod Toward here, and today I'm going to show you how to install OBSE, or Oblivion Script Extender. Note that with the Bethesda games, script extenders have been updated with an X as a prefix to indicate a new dev team, so OBSE and XOBSE. Same thing, XOBSE is newer. So, go down here on the Nexus page, links in the description, and click this. You'll be taken to a GitHub link go here you see oh boy this is the real thing and you click the 7 zip file here it has to say dot 7 z or dot zip now open a file explorer and go to your downloads you can see that I already have it and I've already extracted it but for the sake of what you will do right click on the file on the compressed file that is and you can either use Windows extraction tool which is awful or 7 zip which I recommend so 7-zip, extract files, and OK. And in this case, because I've already extracted it, I'll click yes to all. If you haven't extracted it before, you won't see that pop up. So go over here, open this file folder that just appeared, and you'll see these files. If you're using Steam, highlight data, highlight obse12416.dll, highlight the editor DLL and highlight the steam loader DLL and then also highlight the obse loader.exe copy all of these and then navigate to where your game is installed so in this case D drive x86 steam steam apps common and then oblivion once you're here, click paste. If you haven't installed it before, you won't get this message. But because I'm reinstalling it, there you go. Now that you have it here, there is a quick way to test it. Note that when you run this, you will want to load obsloader.exe. You can also run it through a mod manager, such as Mod Organizer. I highly recommend Mod Organizer. Once in here, just run obse. It'll be in the executable drop-down. If it's not showing up, just relaunch it. But for this case, I will do it via File Explorer. So, OBSE loader.exe. Double-click that. And you get copyright. And then after that, you skip because the stuff. We aren't interested in that. Oh boy, you real septum. And once you're in-game, Type get obse version. See obse version 22.4. So the mod is installed correctly. That's it. Another way to test it, if you don't want to do the console command, which I mean, just do the console command, is you can get a file called OBSE test plugin. It's on the Nexus, but given that you can just use the console command, there's no real point to doing that. Note that when I said for Steam, if you go here and read the instructions, there's a non Steam and a Steam version. Since I have Steam, I did the Steam version, but I technically did this version also because I copied those files and the exe, the obse loader. My recommendation is that you copy all the DLLs and the obse loader and the data file. Copy all of them and then run the obse loader.exe. If you follow these steps, it should work just fine. And then there you go, you can visit Uriel Septim himself. <laughs>